Hey guys, in this effect house tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a ranking filter like this. I have created a subgraph asset, which makes it very simple to create a filter like this. And of course you can download this for free to follow along this tutorial. So let's start. Hey again, so let's create this ranking effect here in effect house. Before we start creating the filter here, please make sure that you have downloaded all the assets we need to create this effect because I have created a subgraph which is very important and makes it very easy to create a filter like this. So please go to the description of this video and click on the download link. Then you will end up here on this Dropbox page and here just click on download. In the downloaded folder you will find the ranking.subgraph and a graphics folder. But of course you can also create your own graphics. Those are just graphics to follow along this tutorial. But as I said, you can use your own ones to personalize this filter. I have created a Figma template, which makes it very simple to create your own assets. You can also find this in the description of this video. The Figma file looks like this. Those are the placeholder, which will be on the left hand side. And those are all the options. But of course you can also use images, but you can also create your graphics in Illustrator, Photoshop, Canva or any other software. And after you have ready all your graphics, we can start importing them to our effect house project. The first thing I will import is the subgraph file. So just drag and drop it into the assets panel and then go to your graphics and um, I have here 10 options, but of course you can have more and 10 placeholders. Then I just select all of them and also drag and drop it into the assets panel. After the import is done, we can start creating the scene of our effects. For this, we go to the left hand side to our hierarchy panel. And the first thing I want to create is the list from one to 10 on the left hand side. So for this, we go to add object. And the first thing I will create is a 2D scene object. This will be more or less a folder for all the 10 items on the left hand side. So just click on it and then create it. Then I select the 2D scene object, go to add object again, go to 2D and now I will create a screen image. Uh, the screen image is normally created outside the 2D scene object, but we want to have it inside of it. So just drag and drop it into the 2D scene object. And then I will rename this screen image to one. So for this, just right click on it and then hit rename and yeah, just rename it. At the moment, this image is pretty big, but yeah, we want to have it smaller and on the left side. So for this, we select it on the left hand side, go to the right hand side. And the first thing I do is to change the the size to width 720, which already is the right value. And the height is also 720. So it is a squared size. Then I go down to the scale 2D and here I activate this chain. And now I change my scale to 0 0.12. But of course you can choose your own scale. Then I also will change the texture here because this is just a placeholder and I want to have yeah, the default texture which is visible at the start. So for this, we select the um, one image, go to the right hand side and change the texture from the default texture to the placeholder texture we want to have for the first item. And then we can just move this object to the left hand side where we want to have the first item position it. You can move this um, here in the scene or you also can select it in your hierarchy, go to the right hand side and here change the position by typing in some values. For example, we can set this to X minus 250 and for Y I will choose um, 500. So because we have to calculate the distance between the um, objects, I will have a distance of 100. So it is easier to set it to 500 because the next will be on 
400, 300 and so on. So let's create the second item here on the left hand side. For this we go to our left hand side to our ob first object and then we right click on it and then we duplicate this object. Then I will rename this to 2, then go to the right hand side, set the position from 500 to 400. When you have a different size of this or a different position of the first item, this value may be different in your project. And then I go down to the texture and I will set the texture 1 to the texture 2. So now I have one and two. And now I will repeat this process with duplicating, renaming, setting the position and changing the texture um, Yeah, until I have those 10 items on my left hand side. So let's start. So and now we have successfully created our list of objects on the left hand side. And now the good thing about the scene object is we have created um, at first is that we also can just select the 2D scene object and then move around all the 10 items together to reposition them on the screen. So the next object we will create is the object above our head which will flip through all the objects then land on one and then we can choose um, where we want to have this object on on our list so for this we go again to the left hand side to add object then we go to face effects and here we select the face sticker because the face sticker automatically creates um, a 3d face tracker with a image um, inside of it and now we just have to go to the left hand side and change the position of this image and also if you want the scale of this image um, so go to the left hand side select the image then go to the right hand side and change the y position to 12 this is a very good position for this object now i just go down to the texture and here i will just yeah, set the first image here as a placeholder. Then I go to the left hand side again and just rename this image in the face binding to rotation. Now we have successfully set up our scene and now we can start the programming of this filter. As I have already said, this will be very simple because I created this subgraph image. So go to your assets bundle and search for the ranking subgraph we have imported. Then just drag and drop it into the visual scripting panel. At the blue ranking node we have some inputs and now I will explain to you how we have to set up those yeah, inputs. The texture array will be the images which will flip through above our head. You need to have at least 10 items for this filter but of course you can also have more but in the end there will be also 10 shown until this um, yeah, object will disappear. So let's start with the texture array. So we go to the to the plus next to texture array and now we will create 10 inputs from 0 to 9. But of course when you have 12 or 15 or even 30 um, items you want to show in this filter you have to create more. And then we just have to click on the default texture and then select the items we want to have in this effect. So I have one, two, three. So after we have inserted all our textures, which should show up in this effect, we go down to the next. Um, input of this blue node and here we have to set our rotation object and this will be of course the um, object which we have in our face binding which we rename to rotation so just select it and hit ok then we go um, one input down and here we have the scene objects this will be all the 10 
um, scene objects we have on our left hand side. So we have to create here also 10 inputs. So for scene object one, it will be the um, yeah scene object one in our 2D scene object and so on. Two, three, And now the last thing is that we start our effect and this will be with the green start node which is already created since the beginning since we have created this effect house project and here just connect the next output of this start node with the start input of our ranking node and after we have done this the yeah effect is working so now we can just yeah click on the item on the left hand side where we want to place our object above the head and then click through all the objects until all 10 have been selected and then the um, object above our head will disappear and then we have here on the left hand side our final result. Um, now here when you don't want to have the filter starting immediately when um, yeah, the effect starts, you can change this. Um, when you just swap out this start node with a screen tab node. So for this, go to the visual scripting panel, click on the plus and here search for screen tab. And then just delete this connection and connect it with the screen, the screen tab next output with the start input of the ranking you can also disable the visibility of this object of the rotation object for this go to the left hand side and here just disable this and now when we tap on the screen this is visible and we can start yeah ranking our items i hope this tutorial was helpful for you if yes give it a, give this video a thumbs up and if you're new on this channel it would be nice when you subscribe to it so thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye